Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. Bienvenue au bateau de l'armée autour du monde. Ça me fait un peu de For your safety, life jackets and the printed instructions on how to wear them are stored and displayed in various locations throughout the vessel. We encourage you to take a few moments to look at the instructions. Life rafts are also carried on board this vessel and will be deployed by our staff in an emergency. Also, for your own safety, please keep your hands and feet inside the boat and do not stand on the metal boxes on the deck of the boat. Please keep youngsters off all railings. Should you have any questions, please ask one of our crew members. Are you protection, the best of sauvetage and their instructions can be found at several endroits on the bateau. We will encourage you to take a few moments to study these instructions. The bateaux de sauvetage are also at bord and the code of urgence will be used. In addition, for your protection, please keep your hands and your feet in the bateau et de ne pas se tenir debout sur le point de métal sur le pont. Ainsi, on vous prie de garder les enfants éloignés de passerelles. Je n'ai vous pas de demander n'importe question. Nos membres d'équipe sont toujours à votre disposition. Many of the Miss Boats have been sailing up the borderline between the two friendly nations of the United States and Canada since 1846. The first made of the Miss was a coal-fired steamboat. The men of the Miss Boats have carried presidents, kings, and countless other tourists from all over the world. The Bateau made of the Miss navigue la frontière entre le Canada des États-Unis depuis 1846. Le premier de Miss est un bateau de Le Bateau made of the Miss on the left is the American Falls. It is 180 feet high, or about 55 meters. Most of the rock at the base of the falls fell during two spectacular rock slides in 1931 and 1954. 12,000 years ago, the falls were 7 miles, or about 11 kilometers downriver at most. You now see them at their present location. Because of erosion, sometimes as much as six feet or two meters a year. The small falls to the right of the American Falls That's is the cave of the winds. The walkway oh. is what leads to the cave of the winds. You can walk under it. I want to go to the American Falls. It's about 55 meters or 180 feet in height, or about 50 meters in width, with a length of 345 meters or 1,100 feet. The majority of the rocks at the base of the falls are the result of the Wow. It's almost as tall as the falls itself. 
The water that flows over the falls comes from four of the five Great Lakes. From here, the water goes down the Niagara River to Lake Ontario, then the St. Lawrence River, and finally to the Atlantic Ocean. Just to the right of the falls is the journey behind the falls. Nous approchons de ce Canadien où les chutes font à cheval. Ces chutes sont 52 mètres ou 170 pieds en hauteur avec une longueur de 760 mètres ou de 2500 pieds. C'est ici que les cascadeurs sont venus chercher leur réputation. La première, en 1901, fut la maîtresse d'école Annie Taylor. On la pense âgée de 43 ans quand elle conclut les chutes renfermées dans son texte de bois, mais en effet, elle en avait 63. En 1960, un incident presque incroyable. Roger Woodward, âgé de 7 ans, fut envahi par le chute par un costume de vin et un veston de sauvetage. Miraculeusement, il survécut. Presque à cet endroit même, un bateau mêlé de mist lui est venu au secours. À l'extrême gauche des chutes de fer à cheval, on trouve Terrapin Point où traverse la frontière internationale entre le Canada et les États-Unis. Au-dessus, l'eau attire une profondeur de 50 cm ou de 180 pieds. La source de l'eau qui tombe des chutes est à 4 des 5 étoiles. D'ici, l'on voyage la longueur de la rivière Niagara pour se rejoindre au lac Ontario, suivi par le fleuve Saint-Laurent et enfin l'océan Atlantique. Immédiatement à la droite des chutes, on aperçoit la piste de la marche derrière les chutes.